Tinky Winky Bag! Tinky Winky Bag! Tinky Winky Bag! Ah. Oh. Huh. Uh. Where Tinky Winky Bag? Tinky Winky Bag! Tinky Winky Bag! <laughs> Tinky Winky Bag! 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 <laughs> Circle.
<laughs> Teletubbies love each other very much. some beautiful things like me yeah oh oh and also lots of lovely things made from glass yes hello hello Shiny ball. That's the glass factory. Looks like a very odd place. Yes, they have to heat the glass to make it go soft and bendy. Ooh. Is that really boiling hot glass? Yes. You know, when it's bendy, the man can make it into different shapes. Oh, a 
It'd be like plasticine. Yeah, so sweet. In it goes. Eat it up. Round and round. Oh, watch this bit. Oh, yes. That glass is all floppy. There we are. Finished. Oh, that's a very fancy bowl. Oh, very interesting. Yes, yes, yes. I bring you nothing but the best. And here are some of the bestest questions you've ever heard. First one. <clears throat> what were all the beautiful things made out of? Oh, now I think I knew that one. Glass. Um, mm. yeah, I'll go for that. Glass. Oh. And what do you think? What were all the beautiful things made out of? Mm. Yes, my shiny glass. Yes, They were made of glass. Okie dokie, diddly pokey. Good steady start. So it shines all round here. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, which one? Oh, shiny bony balls. Mm. And I will have a shiny ball. Oh. Just like in the film. <laughs> And if you got it right, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny! Next question. And this needs a bit of thinking about. Oh, dear. When they're making things, why does the glass have to be all soft and bendy? Well, now there's a poser. Why, oh, why is the glass bendy? Think hard and answer. Um, it's bendy because it's not working properly. Mm, no. What? I think it's bendy so they can make things without smashing them. It's bendy because it's hot. Well, mm. <laughs> think about it. Why does the glass have to be bendy? Yes, otherwise it would smash. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. Mm. It's so they don't break the glass when they're making things. Oh, yeah. It's hot and bendy while they're making things, and then it goes cold and hard. Oh, oh well done, Doggo. Oh, bit of luck, really. No, it was a bit of brain. Oh. So, it's a shiny for the doggiest person here. While the mm. monkey gets none. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> take no notice. <clears throat> but if you got the answer right, give, give yourself a shiny. Winning. Count those shinies! Count your shinies more and more. That's the way to find your score. I've got one, two. One, two. Um, and I've got, um, one. One. Oh, keep a count of your shinies too. But next, I've got some interesting things for us to look at. Oh, lead on, my tigery chums. Okay. Wow, Tiggs, what's all this? This is the Tiggs collection of beautiful glass things. Oh. Now, if you want to collect lots of glass things yourself, then you must, of course, ask a grown-up to help you. Oh, yes, it's, um... Um, definitely all glass things. And you have collected it? Yes, yes. Uh, but it isn't beautiful. No. What? Well, well, like on the video, that was all different colours and pretty stuff. But, I mean, this is just, um... Well, glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it may not be colourful, but just you watch. Oh, that's not very interesting. I haven't done it yet, Dogsby. Mm. Right. I'm doing it now. Oh, who's making that noise? <laughs> I am. Oh, at least the glasses. Oh, that's a nice sound. Oh, that's a beautiful sound. Yeah, but, but you have to be really careful. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to try it, you have to ask a grown-up to help you first. Mm -hmm. uh, Dogsby? Yes? Blow across the top of that bottle. <laughs> oh, I see. How marvellous. Yeah. Oh, well, we will then, but after that... <laughs> <laughs> well, 
round two, round two. If you're looking for a star, oh, that's what I do. Now then, have a look at this. Zap. Oh, more hot bendy glass. Mm. First, he smooths it down, yeah. Now watch. No, watch. <gasps> He's blowing it up like a balloon. Yes. Ooh. He's making a glass ball. <laughs> oh, lovely stripes. No, not as lovely as mine, though. Oh, it's beautiful. They're finished ones. <sighs> that man's very clever. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see if you are, too. The question is, <clears throat> the man has got a ball of glass at the end of the tube. How did he make the ball get bigger, Mother? Mm. Hmm? Oh, um, he, he waves it about. No, I think he blew down it. <sighs> How, what do you think? How did the man make the ball of glass get bigger? Oh, I remember now. Yes. Mm. Make bubbles. Yes. <laughs> he blew down the tube. Ooh. He blew the ball of glass up like a balloon. Ooh. Balloon. Jolly good. Yes, and you're jolly good at answering questions today, Dogsby. Oh, you're too kind. No, I'm so kind I'm going to let you have a shiny. Oh, thank you. If you're so kind, can I have a shiny even though I got it wrong? <gasps> I'm not that kind. Well, mm. try. But if you got it right, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny! Next question. It's about the pattern on the glass. Was the pattern stripy or spotty? Um, I think it was stripy. I'm going for spots. Yes, spotty. What do you think? Was, was it spotty? Sure. It was stripy. Mm. It was stripy. Ah, oh, nice one, Fluffy. No, oh, knew it wouldn't last. So it's a shiny for Mucka. <gasps> Thanks a diddly dokey. Mm. And I think you might know by now if you got it right. Give, give yourself a shiny. shiny. Yeah. <laughs> so, who is the shiniest person so far? Count your shinies. Count your shinies more and more. That's the way to find your score. I've got one, two, three. Ooh, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, Margot, I've got one, two, two, two. Ooh. And you count your shinies too. Now it's time to make beautiful sounds. Yeah! Right, I've got some more glass things. Um, glasses, actually. Ooh. Well, they're not empty. Well spotted, Tiggs. These glasses have water in. Oh, in case you get thirsty, you mean? Yes, dog speak. No, dog speak. Oh. It's to make different sounds with different lots of water. Oh, I hope it's going to be very beautiful. Yeah, and I shall play my glasses with my spoon. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> See how I play a low note. Blue. Or I could play a high note. Beautiful. Oh, it's a marvel. I can even play a tune. Oh, I know that tune. It sounds familiar. Mm. Oh, it definitely rings a bell. <laughs> or a glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But not yet. No, it's time for round three. <laughs> right, round three, round three. If you're looking for a star, that star is... Me. Now, have a good look at this. Zap! Oh, is that a sweet? No. The glass needs to be very bendy for this. Oh, massive tweezers. They're called pincers. Oh, look! She's pulling the glass. Oh, amazing! Stretch! Oh, oh my word. What is it? Is it a 
boat hook. No. Any ideas, Dogsby? Um, oh, I, I know. It's a swan. What type of bird did the glass maker make? Um, penguin. I see. And Dogsby? I've got a feeling it was a swan. Oops. And what sort of bird do you think it was? A what, a penguin. Siberian penguin? They look different. I not like swans. Yeah. And the answer is, it was a swan. Oh, that's, uh, that's... Wonderful! <laughs> oh, just give the dog the shiny. Mm -hmm. So a shiny for Dogsby. Mm -hmm. And if you got it right, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny! shiny. <laughs> and now, the ever so last question. What tool did the glassmaker use to stretch the neck of the swan? Oh, um, oh, pincers, a pair of pincers. Oh, I thought it was, uh, a pair of scissors. Oh, and what do you think the tool was called? Yeah, but he sort of gripped them, didn't he? Sort of yes. Pulled them. Oh, yeah. yes. Not, not cut it. The tool was called a pair of pincers. Oh, oh I got it right! I got it right! <laughs> so, no shiny for dog speed. Oh, glum on toast with glamato sauce. But there's a shiny for the purplest puzzle I know. That's me, that's me! <laughs> and if you got it right, give, give yourself a shiny! So, what do we want to know now? Who has won? Count your shinies more and more. That's the way to find your score. I've got one, two, Three, four. Ooh, three, four. Oh, oh, um, I've got one, two, three. <gasps> three. So the super shiny goes to Dogsby. Oh, oh not glamour tool. And if you count your shinies, and you've got four shinies or more, you're a winner too! Breakfast, lunch, tea and dinner, you're the one who is the winner! And here's your super shiny! <laughs> Is everybody ready to make music? Yeah! <laughs> Look, I can tap my glasses really fast to make a tune. Ha! <laughs> or a tune that's slow. <laughs> and I can make a sound that's high. Or a sound that's low. I can make a sound that's loud. Or I can make a sound that's quiet. So it and that's the way a tune should go. Two, three, four. That's the way a tune should go. Putting on a music show. Use that stick to make it quick. Then you go really slow. That's the way a tune should go. Putting on a music show. Make a sound that's really loud. Now go quiet. Come on, try it. Putting on a music show. Oh. Oh. oh, it's the end of the show. Bye from us all. See you all again next time. Yeah, bye. Glass. Glass.
shiny ball. Hot glass. All bendy. Ooh, blow up the glass, Mr. Glasses Man. Now you all have had a go on the shiny show, the shiny show. You've all shown the things you know on the shiny show, the shiny show. Hang on a minute, said Andy the bandicoot. He looked at the wriggling bit of fluff at the top of Foo the kangaroo's mouth. That's not a moustache, it's a caterpillar. Oh, hello, I was just reading a story about a moustache to Bibi. Well, there's another moustache now in 64 Zoo Lane, Hercule moustache. Look! There's one with a hump, and one who can jump, and one who is a little bit slow. Pixie Paw, Pixie Paw, Pixie Paw Zule. Some like it hot, and some like it chilly, and some like it both make nuts a bit silly. Pixie Paw, Pixie Paw, Pixie Paw Zule. Some are friendly, some are scary, but one thing is sure, not one ordinary. Pixie Paw, Pixie Paw. story of their cool mustache. Sometimes on cold nights, my fur turns white, like, uh, camouflage. I see. And your voice. You seem to have a different accent. I've been having lessons. Really, Boris? Well, you certainly sound different, but I'll bet you can still do your famous Russian bear dance. Uh... Oh, come on, Boris. Don't be shy. <gasps> Did someone mention dancing? Hi, Lucy. Don't worry. This is the real me. Huh. We had you fooled there, didn't we? You certainly did. But what are you two up to? Snowbird popped round to tell you a special story. That sounds exciting. What's it about? Wait a moment, Lucy. We all have to get settled in first. <clears throat> this is the story of Air Cool Mustache. <laughs> Sydney the seal was juggling some fish. <sighs> I spy with my little eye <clears throat> something beginning with I, an iceberg. Sydney had seen many icebergs in his time, but this one was new, and on the iceberg sat a very large walrus. I wonder who it is. Arr. Never seen a walrus in these parts before. Ahoy there! Arr, arr. Hello! Arr, arr. My name is Sydney the Seal. Arr, arr. Pleased to meet you. My name is Hercule Moustache. And my bottom is cold for sitting on this iceberg for so long. Oh, have you come far then? 
I come from a place called Mossy Bay. You probably heard of it. No. Oh, it is a beautiful spot, famous for the scenery and the moss, of course. Uh, I miss it already. Oh, uh, uh, it's nice here too. Lots of things to see and do. Yes, so I have been told. I am on my orders, you see, and my friend suggested the North Pole. So, here I am. Only it doesn't look very interesting. Oh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, uh, I could show you around. Thank you. That would be nice. Hercule, uh, uh, I'll take you to the most spectacular sight you've ever seen. Oh, really? And what might that be? It's a surprise. Uh, uh, Follow me. And on your left, uh, uh, you can see hundreds of icebergs, all of different sizes. My dear Sydney, I have seen enough icebergs to last me a lifetime. Where is the surprise of which you spoke? You'll soon find out. OK, this is the first stop on our guided tour. More icebergs, I expect. Oh. Da-da! Hmm. I see. I'm not really one for modern art, but... Hello. Uh, that's my friend Snowbird. A bear. Arr, arr. He made the ice sculptures. Arr, arr. Oh, I see. That is your surprise. Very good. Oh, yes, a bear who does sculpture. Very good indeed. Oh, uh, but that wasn't it. Arr, arr. Your surprise will be much more spectacular than that. It will? Yeah. Snowbird will show us the way. Come on. Arr, arr. I packed some things in a rucksack, and the three of us set off together. Is it much further? Ugh, and that wind is very cold for me. I knew I should have gone to the Sahara. Sunshine, sand, relaxation. Do you like our fountain? Very nice, oui, oui. Though I've seen fountains before, Bigger than this, of course. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 ho. This well will take us across the water. Across the water? Oh, I, I won't get wet, will I? North, please. Eventually, the ice became so thick that the whale could go no further. What's happening? Well, we've stopped. Has he broken down? Oh, la la. This is a disaster. Don't worry. We can walk the rest of the way. Arr, arr. More walking? I don't believe it. This is like a the marathon. After this holiday, I will need another holiday. Sydney and I were getting fed up with their cools moaning. North. Always north. I like this view. Uh, yes, very nice. Can we sit down now? Yes, Hercule. Arr, arr. Just sit there. Arr, arr. Yeah! North! Always north! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's everywhere. What have you done to the moustache of poor Hercule? But it's a snow ride, Hercule. <laughs> You're meant to be covered in snow. <laughs> I should never have come to the North Pole. Now we were really fed up with Hercule. We'd shown him so many exciting things, and all he could do was complain. Maybe you're right. <laughs> you should have stayed at home, Hercule. Yes in the south. <clears throat> so, where is this surprise you have promised me? Well, Hercule, our journey is over. Her We're here at last. Here? Here is my surprise? Yes. 
Make yourself comfortable. The show is about to begin. The uh, show? Show? But, but, but this is madness. Here there is only black sky and ice. Erku felt very disappointed, but he didn't dare complain anymore. Hercule, did you know that the spot we're sitting on is the exact North Pole? Yes, this is as far north as you can go. Well, that's uh, very interesting. Let's have a picnic. Ah, a fish. As we were as say, who could wish for more than a fish? Thank you for the picnic surprise. Merci. Uh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> the picnic wasn't our surprise, but look up, up in the sky, Hercule. Hercule looked up, and the skies began to change. Welcome, Hercule, to your surprise, the Northern Lights. Oh, it is so beautiful. Hell spectacular. Thank you for this wonderful surprise. We're so glad you enjoyed your holiday here at the North Pole. Hey, look, the lights have started again. Hercule had enjoyed the Northern Lights so much, he promised to tell all his walrus friends to visit the North Pole, too. I feel like Hercule. What? Have you got a moustache? No, silly. I mean, I'm like Hercule because I got a lovely surprise, too. Snowbird story. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And now, isn't it time you went travelling north? Back to my bed, you mean? Yes. Good night, Lucy. Good night, everyone. See you soon. Good night, Lucy. And Teletubbies. Teletubbies. Teletubbies everywhere. At nine o'clock. Weekdays. On BBC Two. I like the look of the North Pole in 64 Zoo Lane, so I thought I'd pay it a visit. Now, don't worry, Sydney will be here after the Story Makers, which is all about fibbing. Bye. Come on into the library. It's the place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story Makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Shelley Wordsworth, Shelley and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Okay. Oh, look at the time. It's time to go home, everyone. Come on. and far away Teletubbies come to play One Two Three Four Four Teletubbies 
cabbage. La 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 ho Teddy Tubby
squeezing sponges. Yes. Squeezing. Squeezing. One day, in Teletubby Land, something appeared from far away. <gasps> Ooh! Uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> What's that? It was a squeezy tube. Lala squeezed the squeezy tube. Ooh. Ooh. 
Kenny, Kenny, Ken! wanted to squeeze the squeezy tube. <laughs> Look at that. The squeezy tube made a mess. <laughs> uh oh. Look. Mess. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Look. Mess. <laughs> Ooh. Mess. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then the squeezy tube disappeared. Tubbies love each other very much. Tubby bye bye. Time for Tubby bye bye. Time for Tubby bye bye. Bye bye, Tinky Winky. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, Dipsy. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Poe. <laughs> no. Bye-bye, no. <laughs> Tinky Winky. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Dipsy. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Po. Bye. The sun is setting in the sky. Teletubbies, say goodbye. Far away, Teletubbies come to play. One, two, two. three, four. four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Teletubbies. Thank <laughs> you. 
doesn't break. She puts rosin on the bow to make it sound good. on her violin so it doesn't hurt her shoulder.
One day in Teletubby Land, Tinky Winky, Dipsy and Lala watched Poe dance. Watch Poe dance. Watch Poe dance. <laughs> Poe danced round and round. Poe danced round and round. <laughs> <laughs> Poe danced round and round the other way. <laughs> other way. <laughs> <laughs> Poe danced on one leg. Poe danced one leg. <laughs> Danced on the other leg. Ooh. <laughs> other leg. <laughs> danced near <laughs> Pa danced near <laughs> <laughs> And Po danced far Pa danced far <laughs> danced in front of the tree. Ha <laughs> 
And Po danced behind the tree. Ooh. <laughs> behind the tree. <laughs> danced standing up. And Poe danced lying down. danced lots and lots. <laughs> lots and lots. <laughs> And Poe danced hardly at all. Hardly at Very good at dancing. Tubbies love dancing. <laughs> and Teletubbies love each other very much.
Tubby bye bye. Time for Tubby bye bye. Time for Tubby bye bye. No. No. Bye bye, Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Po. No. No. Bye bye, Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Po. Bye-bye. The sun is setting in the sky. Teletubbies, say goodbye. Oval. A 
umbrella. Cloud. Rain.
Tubbies love each other very much. Thank you. 